Okay, one little feature I just added. First, I want to point out that unexpectedly I got this behavior without even realizing I would get it, which is pretty cool. So now let's uh, go through and, and work with this array and show you my new little thing. Create an abbreviation, create a delay. Let's stretch that out so it'll be nicer. The abbreviation just makes it easier to work with the thing. Now we're going to go ahead and update as we've seen before. going to create a new array called A2 and we're going to put it into A1 and as you can see it's empty. Now I'm going to update A2 and you'll notice that every second it automatically updates. This is actually what goes on normally with our um, inspector windows. When we inspect one, we get this cute little thing, which at one second approximately intervals, it goes ahead and updates itself with the values. So all I'm doing with this secondary update is borrowing a page from system, the inspector window and updating every second if something has changed. So we can see that something that that how that works notice that that will just automatically update over here so it's basically the same thing but what it means is that I can put this array use this array in a regular program and manip and the regular program can manipulate it as it does the arrays it's expecting and uh, the updates of all shapes and sizes will be put on the screen. So in principle, this could be done with any object type, with any algorithm type. So you would have a visual display of the entire inner workings of a given program if I were to go that deep into how things work in Smalltalk. Pretty cool.